did. <laughs> hey, dude, we are live right now. I decided no, we're not, to get getting off. psyched. We're not oh. live. Yeah, we're live. We're live right now. Because <laughs> uh, so, uh, Chris Long. It's only about, an illusion. Walkabout, he was ready. So, I was, so you know, walkabout's ready, then we're ready. Anyways, this is just another one of those impromptu kind of live hangouts that I do whatever and anyone's invited. All you guys say, hey, invite me. I'll put you in. And um, that's it. We'll talk about whatever, uh, anything. Jeff already knows this, but uh, I'll yell topic. You bring a topic up. And um, that's about it. So, I got a topic. Yeah. Topic, topic. Not, yeah. Topic when, when we need a topic. Hey, Charles. Um now, uh, in the chat, let me know what you guys are up, got going on the bench or whatever. Um, I know tomorrow's Easter, so I don't know what it'll be like for chat-wise. Uh, again, we got Jeff, Hex the Hex, and we got Chris, not Jay. And, howdy, uh, howdy, guys. And that's it, man. We just shoot the breeze here. There's no script or anything, man. So how you guys all doing? That's good. All righty. Next is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I played my first round of golf today. Four round two. 73. One over. Now, now nice. 12 since September. That's a nice, that's nice. Now, that's a two round, that's two uh, go rounds, right? Because it's only nine. Yeah, we, yeah, we have dual tee boxes. Yeah. So, well, cool. Um, like I said, golf year round over here. I was wore out when I got done. Because I walked. I walked. Hey, man, you're Mike. So, oh, Wag's doing a 3D printing planes. Oh, the planes Indians. I think I heard you talking about that on uh, Musky Wargamers uh, a couple nights ago. So, Musky Wargamers. Is that? Musky Wargamers. Yeah. Rusty and uh, Palmer and Dan Bow Bowman. What, uh, something like that. John Kelly. John. So. How many channels are streaming so I can see all? You got a total of nine channels streaming right now, man. Your mic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm streaming it to Facebook. Yeah. Anyway. So. I, I I am not because basically yeah, you can. On my show is going to show up over here anyway. 18, Chuck. 18, buddy. Yeah. Uh, hey, Evil Stu. Oh, everything's going well so far. <laughs> He's going one, two. <laughs> one, uh, two, and buckle my shoe. Now, I just got, well, yeah, Chris, you already know about our, I'm doing some more Kings of War stuff here. Just got some rack king I just thought I'd build up. Um, kind of didn't like Can you building. imagine that? Kind of like Kings of War. building priming. So, I know, man. I know. Well, I've been printing like a fiend. A P47. You got a P38. Three mil, six mil. These are six. Yeah. F4U Corsair. Jeffy, you hit your stream deck and what's on your table. Huh? Don't you have your stream deck hooked up? Yeah. I haven't got mine hooked up yet, man. Ooh. What's that crazy? So I'm getting ready to set the next scenario up in that one. Get oh. ready to set the next one up. Got this one paint primed or uh, hand primed. Oh, that's good. Uh, no, Mr. Schmidt, a uh, 109. There's a 190. And a, uh, a fork. Oh, man. I have my pills. Be right back. Take your pills. Oh, I got them in a tray now. Oh, hey, Greg, what's up? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's great. Coffee. I opened the door and found you guys. We are currently playing Scooby Doo board game with Crystal and Keegan by the same people who make Zombie Side. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. Um, Keegan. All righty. I'm hoping my I got a print. I got a, a plate now with uh, six 109s. I'm hoping I don't run out of. Uh, I don't. I hope I don't run out of resin. 
And what's, what game is this for, or just... Uh, so I'm going to be doing a fistful of lead, uh, star fighters that's been reskinned for world war two. And I'm going to do, um, Germans versus Americans over, uh, Europe, 1943, 1944, uh, where the B-17s are basically mobile uh, terrain that shoots back. Uh, mm-hmm. Because, you know, flying a, flying a B-17 is not all that exciting in the game because they do exactly two things, fly straight and shoot. So I, as a get. I, as the game master, will push those along. And uh, when a enemy aircraft comes into their uh, the firing arc, the, the bombers will fire at it. All right. Otherwise, the P-51 Mustangs and the P-47 uh, Thunderbolts will be going up against the uh, ME 109s, the FW 190s, and I, I'm thinking I might throw some ME 110s in there also. Well, the Thunderbolts, they gotta have some massive armor, though. Uh, they, they, carry, they, they uh, carry 850 caliber machine guns. Yeah, yeah but they were pretty much the flying tank tanks back right then. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're huge in comparison. I mean, here's, you know, here's the P 47. Yeah. Here's the 109. Yeah. So, nerds, nerd, nerd, what's up? Nerd, nerd. A nerd. Hey, nerd. Can... We got. Oh, someone did pre-order the Arena of Blood, or the Blood in the Sand, or Sand of Blood, or. <laughs> oh, that drives Jay Wiley absolutely <laughs> <No>. berserk. <laughs> Anyway. It drives him up the fucking wall. I was thinking McMurray got in. He should bust that game out. So, but. Yeah, what's yeah, the last word? To- said, Tell me when. Tell me what time. Oh, I know. Still not here. <laughs> so. It happens, man. He. <laughs> oh, you won't believe how he rises me. His life, he's going over something like that, and then happens. You know. <laughs> That's, That's all right. <laughs> I posted a video before we got on, so. I saw that. I got to go make my comment. I could put a Todd comment. Nice. Or I could boost up a level and say really nice. Of course, every time I see your uh, your logo, Mutt, it, remi- it reminds me of like a P-51 Mustang. Yeah. Yep. Not really sure. Oh, hey, John. Uh, yeah, he's seen it, Hexy. That's what he says. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, thanks, Don. Oh, you ever get in those moves where you just build and just just build and then I'll build in a no. prime and that's it. So, I think we've all been kind of well. I mean, as far as really. Showing what we anything we've been doing, I don't think any of us have been like overly active over the public scene. Well, Chris, you're pretty much just doing your show, and I yeah. haven't shot a shit ton of videos. Yeah. Brian, you haven't posted as many as you had. Did you do any unboxings of the new shit you just got? Just uh, just one. I saw your last mini that you painted, but I can't remember what it was now. Yeah, now, um, what I'm trying to do is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now, I'm trying to schedule them all out. Um, because no telling what's going to happen. Oh, look, we just popped well, in right now. Plus, I'm tackling this game. With nobody. I thought you said 6.30 uh, your time. Jeff, I should bet you lunch or something. Told he, you, told he, you went, he went early. Like I went seven early. minutes early. So, anyway. Now, if we get Todd on here, we'll have yeah, the whole time game for the first time in a very, very long time. What are you betting, what are you betting Todd or Jeff lunch for? 
Oh, we were wondering if you said, oh, I don't know what you're going to be on. Oh, this time. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he went early. You, McMurray, he went early. What? Oh, then he went early? Yeah. We've been on for 10, 10 minutes. minutes now, man. I know that. That's why I was confused when I looked at the time, and it was very much not coinciding with the time you told me you were going to go live. We went early because someone demanded us to start, and he's in the chat, and his initials are W A A. Oh yeah, who's that? That guy, uh, Hex to Hex. No, initials oh, are W A G. The, uh, the guy up there in the BC, don't you know? <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, you betcha. No, I he kept throwing the weight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was screaming. He was demanding. Uh, Chris Long, it is never your fault, sir. There's all kinds of people in here. Charles in yeah. here, Evil Stew's in here, Mike, yeah. Ashley, or or Craig's in here, Keegan's in here, Nerds, Nerds in here, John Halley. Yeah. Dang, ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Since Nerds, Nerds, and I, I know you're listening, any new STLs or anything, man? I don't think you can call Nerds, Nerd Man, Brian. Well, I'm, it's like, you know, hey, man, you know. Hey, woman. Jeez, can you believe this guy? You can up buddy. like that on his own channel. Right? And this is why it's an impromptu conversation. This is why we can't have nice things. You say that again. You, hey, I wasn't going to get on here, and then you popped into the, the, the Facebook chat. Hurry up. Yeah, I did. I said hurry. So I had to get on. Against my better judgment. Next game counters punch OSG. La. Is that part of the Napoleonic library, Chucky? La it's, it's Napoleonic or he's having a stroke. Yeah. One of those two. Hopefully it's Napoleonic. Hey, I right? saw that. Uh, I didn't notice. I'm, of course, I'm always late to the game. I didn't know World War Games has been printing out their own uh, board. Yeah. Their own what? But they got Civil War 28 out now. Yeah, but they Maybe. suck. They're not really bored. I don't know. You talking about Warlords stuff? Not the yeah. Epic, just the 28s. Because uh, <coughs> a YouTube channel, King Matt Fisher, Matt something, whatever. Hang on. Yeah, I'm about... Oh, right, Attili. That's awesome. awesome utility That's truck. awesome. Early... Early, like you know, British trucks like World War One, um, are, are, are really cool. Those are an underserved market, too. If you're looking for ones that are simple prints, most of it you find are kind of bears. Like, key, come on, uh, where are you going, Ingmar? I'm going to my garage. Oh. It is the big table, baby. I'm not using the big table right now, but it is where the big table is located. I watched Totley play his, a little bit of his miniature game last night. <gasps> That's what right. That's cool. Wait, what? What oh, miniature game was Totley playing? He's, he's got that uh, rapid fire, I think it is, set up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, trying to, he's messing with the rules. That's cool. That's exciting. Yeah. I forgot all about that. I gotta go check that out. Oh, oh man. Dude, it got to like 83 over here, man. We're supposed to have uh, getting into the 70s here shortly. Today was you actually know, I literally got in the truck, drove home after playing, and literally when I walked through the door, the rain started. I was like, wow. <laughs> And then the music started. Do, 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 do. And we told Jeff long ago, there's a calm before the storm. Jeff, I know. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to open up my used copy of Bloodstones I bought. I spent too much. I hope it is complete. They said it was. I, said, I want to see what you're doing. Huh? I want to see what you're doing. Hold on, uh, man. Mike says bloodstones. I bought. Been, oh, that's right. He's got it on here twice. <laughs> bloodstones. Can't see what mini war is. Mini war. Mini war. 
Did I hold six games this week for four hundred and sixty some dollars? Hi. Nice. Just finished. Probably gonna do some more tomorrow. Part of the Ratkin Army and Kings of War. And you're not gonna be able to see it. The lighting's horrible over here. Uh, oh my gosh. Wag, help me out. Not a terror. Yeah, it's a terror. Night terror. So, for Ratkin Army. Uh, I just finished blooming up. Um, I've uh, been building up some uh, ice can uh, from the Northern Alliance's new ambush box lately. He's going everywhere. And primed up some more uh, Zombicide Invader uh, promo survivors. <coughs> and what else did I just prime? Oh, I primed up some uh, Forge Fathers. Did you hear me, Mary? Forge Fathers. Some what? Yeah, what the hell are Forge Fathers? Mantic Games, Dead Zone, Warpath. Oh, Firefly. cool. Nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a GCPS. So, anyway. And still, I just realized I'm painting up three platoons of PABNs. Yeah. That's why it's taking a while for me to finish that. We call that a company around here. Well, whatever you call it. I'm not the history buff like you guys are, man. That's why I pointed out that we call it a company. Oh, I'm more into dwarves on on flying, you know, flying on, on crows and stuff. Well, that and made up stuff like Pikachu Pass and stuff. Yeah, Pikachu Pass. It's made up. You see that link I sent you for Glorietta Pass? I'm gonna That's look it. at that after you know, probably tomorrow, uh, or after we're done here. So. Oh, hi, wardrobe. What? 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 Look who's in the texture. Um, if you are, if you can type, you can connect. Chop, chop, get on there. That'd be cool if he joined in. We got the whole crew on here. Jeff, will be happy. That's what I'd say. Yeah, we haven't done the whole crew in a long time. Every Every be happy. That'd be badass. Mc McMurray. Yes. You would have thought that with. Arena of Blood coming out <laughs> that the exclusive pre-order miniature that you got if you bought your ticket early from March was a pre-order miniature? Yeah, you didn't get you didn't get your samurai. No. Uh oh. You guys you need to talk to Robin. No, I didn't. I ordered. I ordered before he even sent the damn. Before he posted the damn link, like as soon as he sent it to you and I, I pre-ordered it. Because I was not the, for, yeah for for your march to victory ticket, right? <clears throat> I pre-ordered a march to victory ticket. Also, Are you talking about arena of blood or a march to victory? No, ticket? march to victory ticket. Yeah, I pre-ordered that too. Yeah, you would think that. You would it, you would have coincided the March to Victory miniature with the Arena of Blood release. Maybe I'm still hung up. Where is the free <laughs> shit? If you ordered your March to Victory to if you bought March to Victory ticket online, yeah, then not only did you get your name tag, but you were supposed to get a free 3D printed miniature. <laughs> I got one of those, but it's colossal and painted gold. Well, because you're cool and I'm not, so... Yeah! Oh. It took me three years. Hey, I'll get it eventually. Maybe next year. Maybe next year I'll be graced with having one. Um, it won't be... It, 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 we won't make the trifecta if it's not the best GM uh, one, though. You mean everyone that attended got a free mini? If they purchase the ticket online, oh. and their name isn't McMurray, apparently, right? That always helps because this was last year's. Yeah, I didn't. <clears throat> I don't know that I wound up with one of those nights. I thought I did, 
Happy but Easter. I went back and looked at the night that I, so I was telling Jay that I painted his night and put it on one of my War of the Roses bases. But I went back and looked at it, and it's not that figure. So I don't even know if I wound up with one of those damn things. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm Reese's, usually... got, Reese's yeah. got one that's really damn big and painted gold also. I'm really preoccupied most of the time at March to Victory. We'll just go ahead and blame it on that. But anyways, yeah. it's certainly not like a malicious thing on the part of Jay. No, no, not at all. No, 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 no. It's just you, you get there, you get your name badge, and you start doing shit. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're putting on games and whatnot. We're doing, right. you know, cool guy stuff. <laughs> cool guy zone. That's but, Todd's favorite <clears throat> notation is cool guy zone. Uh, happy Easter, Mercury. Mercury Wells is in. Uh, no wonder this game is so expensive. Are amazing. Andrew Mike. Nice miniature. Like I said, we forgot to ask uh, him. John at, John Weiss asks, do you think 54 millimeter would be better for arena than 28 millimeter? I mean, for a convention setting, uh, I think it would work. because it'd look really, really good if it's 54 millimeter. So let me let me clarify my decision because a lot of people have been asking me that because they saw me play it online with 54. I did it in 54 because <clears throat> it, it I was. I knew I was going to play it on camera. Right. By no means is is fifty four. There's there's no preference there. It just looks better on camera. To be honest with you, you can get a larger variety of miniatures, and more of them far cheaper if you play it in twenty eight. And then exactly. you don't yes. the play space and everything else. It's it's by no means a yes. You should play in um one or the other. Yeah, like. Because I did. I had a lot of people ask me that. And I, and I, yeah, I felt bad about that because there was a lot of confusion on that part. And it's, uh, <laughs> there's not a preference. Brian loves it. Yeah, I love the game. Uh, throw 15s on there, man. You can have freaking chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely could. Awesome, dude. You get three teams. You got three teams of three here, three here, three there. Oh my gosh. Then you throw in the animals and stuff. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now you guys got Brian. Then you bust out spiked walls like I'm going to do in a post apocalypse, and I'm going to throw in a, a trade or something or where it's or shove. So you shove them into the spikes. Oh, oh. You, missed, you missed the whole Jay Wiley thing, didn't you? Oh, man. And then there'll be I like chains like... for them to grab on and swing across and crap. <laughs> I feel like you really, 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 Brian, could have benefited from listening to Jay talk about what he's planning and already working on. Yeah. That thing, that's why I don't know. It'll be awesome. That being Thanks. said, um, you've got basically two weeks to uh, get your 10% discount uh, mm. using the keyword <laughs> coupon Galadius. <laughs> My goof, yes, also missed that because I ordered before the coupon code was published or active. Yeah, yeah. It happens. So, Gladius, G-L-A-D-I-U-S, all capital letters. You put it into the coupon. Uh, first off, you can get the hard copy book and the hard copy, not hardcover, hard copy book and a deck of cards for $36. You put in the 10% discount, it comes down to like $32.40. You're so, right. It's all good. John doesn't know what we're talking about, and I you don't. Yeah, you're good, John. I don't either, John. <laughs> what? <man? laughs> that is a okay, Jeff. You know exactly what the hell we're talking about. You're just not ever going to play it. John chose. I bet you if we set it up on a stream, he'd play it. Jeff, would you play Arena of Blood if we set it up no. on a stream? No. no. I'm waiting to play two games. Well, actually, one now. One already. Said. What are those? Two no, games? I'm waiting to play two games. What's the peak, peak, peak. That's one. Uh huh. And the other is uh, Battle of Britain. Dude. Hell no. In the spirit? <laughs> are you I wanting to play, play the games. Battle of Jeffy's apartment? No, you already took care of that. Hey, 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 I, know, I can put it on in a brigade level game. We can still play it. Nordic, I have three sets of clubs. Oh, God darn it, Capitals. 
Brian, what are you what are you trying to call out to me since Jeffy is lost in, in the hockey spirit now? of bracketology or brackets right now going on in March. You should bust out the arena of blood right now, and then we can have a, a four player tourney right now. Right? I can't. I'm I'm running other <laughs> stuff, unfortunately. Hey, Murray, you disappoint me. I disappoint people all the time, buddy. Welcome to my life. Just broke John, you're not going to get the PDF until December or June 15th. Ar Ar Arena Blood, is that that little thing you and, you and Warmut play every now and then? Oh, that's yes, really awesome. Gladiator game. Yeah, that's no. Yeah, I'll, I'll get my rocks off watching you guys play it. I don't want nothing to do yeah, with I know, it. Yeah, well, I know you like Gladiator movies. So Yeah, I do. And outfits. <clears throat> oh, baby. You ever been to a Turkish prison? Yep. And uh, men's men's uh, gymnasium, yeah, <laughs> locker room. Amen. Yes, Brian. Come on, my, my feet. <laughs> no, John. April twelfth is when the pre-order discount ends. discount ends. Yeah. I see somebody posted a video today with Worthing Worthington's new Gettysburg game. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not impressed. You know what I'll be impressed by, Jeffrey? Mm -hmm. A copy of that outstanding Flying Pig Gettysburg game coming to your house in, in a few months. Flying Pig, really? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. But thanks, babe. Appreciate you sending that to me. Me? Yeah. I don't have a copy of it coming in a few months. I got a copy, a copy of it I'm staring at right now. <laughs> I am. It's right here. Oh, All right. So Jeffy, so if I put together a battle of or a battle for the apartment, would you play in it? Yeah, I might consider that. Okay. I'm gonna yeah, June by June fifteenth at the latest, John. Uh it 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 doesn't come out April fifteenth. April fifteenth is when the pre order with the discount ends. That way, Jay can have a set number he needs for cards as well as physical copies to start with. Because there's still a small business, so yeah. Would you get? Yeah, I saw Chris that. Long. Chris Long. What'd you get from Blind Pig? He backed that game that you refused to. The what? He backed that game that you refused to. What he game was that? A most fearful sacrifice. Oh, did you order that, Chris Long? He did. Third thing. Yeah, I, I, I played it. Don't need it anymore. I'll wait on the Chickamauga one. Uh, but, yeah, John, it's it does. It is going to take a hot second to get here. But that is a Oakley Doakley with me. Um, on the bright side, it's not um, – it, they don't have to use Kickstarter, which is good because Kickstarter is really not great for companies that don't already have the financial backing in hand. Um, mainly because they take so much out of it that either you've got to raise so, 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 so much or you have to set your, your price so high that it, it really can screw with people. And uh, this allows them to know how many they need and all that stuff. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Um, Chris Long, you got to remind me when that broadsides of steel or empires of steel, whatever it is, comes out because I'm gonna have to end up ordering it as much as I may not super duper want to. Oh, I just I missed Nanguaya's show this morning. Just oh, so did I. I think I heard the gunfire from Nanguaya's show, but I didn't catch the show. Gunfire. Brian, are you still putting together your Northmen or whatever? Uh, that's already done. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I got, I got uh, eight, eight, eight more to go. I just Jeffy kind of was, broke. What are you playing, Jeffy, right now? Are you still playing Highway to the Reich? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I shot a uh, anti tank video last night. Yeah, I saw that. I picked that up with. Uh, I saw that on Facebook and stuff. <clears throat> it looks like you're having a good time with that. It's uh different. <laughs> different good, different bad, different. End. Um, I'm not gonna say bad yet. The rule book's a little bit of a mess, but. Okay. 
And you kind of have to sort of guess at one or two items. That's rough. Yeah, it is. Nor prefer, is so far. I prefer the old SPI version, but I don't have. That I mean, so. I could have told you that though. Hey, Chris, check the chat there from Nord. Nord, it is absurdly small. To be honest with you, I yeah, think it's the uh, ba basically Nord. What it's going to cost is uh, shipping slash the cost of files. That's the most expensive what? thing is the files. Yeah. Um. So, like, when I buy Gukek stuff, easily the most expensive thing is buying the files. Yeah, because uh, buys mostly... the files for me, I just send them a good number of ships for free. They just pay yeah. shipping because they bought the files, and that's, yeah. Yep. Exactly. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's it's not much, Nord. It's pretty awesome. That's the fun. That's one of the fun parts about micro scale gaming in general. Um, is the the low cost. Like even when you're playing, you know, Chris likes three mil. I, I play two mil a lot. It's yeah. It depends again. It Nord. It depends on what you're looking at. Like, are you looking at you know, are you trying to print out Yamato or are you trying to print out V class destroyers? Um, but a lot, a lot. How many? So what was it, Chris? I printed out every Kriegsmarine um, cruiser. <laughs> yeah. On one build plate. In, and that was in one 2400 also. Yeah. John, that's a great movie. That's not um, Can you make a time? Let's see here. <laughs> John, I had, I think, most of Jutland on three build plates at one point. I don't remember which printer that was for. It might have been for the uh, the Saturn. But what game are you talking about, Mandarin Mike? I don't know. He's talking about tiles and mahjong and a thirty-two page rule book and sixty-four page solo campaign book. I have no idea. Mike, what's going on, buddy? Oh. Speaking of people who are playing cool games, though, Charles, how is um, – how is – oh, geez, Storm Over Jerusalem, Charles. Talk to me, buddy. I thought you were my... uh, four games down for a bit and doing his miniatures. What's up? So... He can't stop. He can't. <laughs> Charles is doing awesome, man. He's do... Charles is always doing cool stuff. I know. It's it's just a fact of life. Nobody does as much cool shit as Charles does. Dude, you should have heard uh, Joy of War Gaming sending him props, man. Yeah, I did. I watched yeah. it. Yeah. So, you got a fan there, Charles. You, you like Storm of Jerusalem, you know, things, Charles. Mainly on account of the fact you do a lot of cool stuff. But yeah. Two thumbs up. Um, Charles, I really, really enjoyed that game, which I wasn't necessarily anticipating, but I super duper did. Um, some issues with Stuka Leader. Was it the Royal Air Force, Chuck? Charles, was it the Royal <laughs> Air Force? I feel like most issues with Stuka Leader was the Royal Air Force. Did they get in the way? I mean, they probably get... Not just in the way, but downright nasty. All righty. A mini warm up. I want to tip her for you guys. Come on, Todd. Come join us, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. You're out there. What is the high? Guys, when you guys get your little resin minis and whatever, and then you got these stands that they're on and stuff, these are great for uh, scatter terrain, guys. Oh, right. yeah. What the hell is yeah. Bloodstones? Mike, He's is that there? What's that day? I saw Stephen Dole just unbox a game last night when I laid down went to bed. Put it on YouTube. It's a, it's a fucking RPG Hex Encounter game. RPG Hex Encounter. Yeah. Man. You sound conflicted. Big I know. Guy. That was weird shit, but that's, that's what it was. <laughs> You've been hanging out with Todd. You gotta hang out with Todd, Wes. Hey, Wag, watch these guys. I'll be right back, guys. Gotta go get my dinner. Jeff is starting to talk about RPGs, guys. We are into dangerous, dangerous territory. The, the, only, the only time I, I talk about RPGs, well, besides when I play them, is when I get them in the face. 
I was about to say, is also in a Todd context, just a different one than Jeff and I are talking about. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've never been a big RPG gamer. I feel like everybody goofed around with it at some point in time. Well, not everybody. Lots of people goofed around with them at some point, you know, like you're in middle school or whatever. Um, and, you know, you give it a try. It just, they never really did a whole lot for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm messed up and don't get it. But, Jeff, uh, for uh, for He's reference, wrong, sorry, I'm not trying to, we got to keep the inclusivity and keep everybody in the loop here. Uh, middle school is what happens after you left school. Oh, thank you. Ah! Yeah, you're good. I always wondered what that was like. Yeah, it was cool, man. Well, we got to do the little X things in math class. Right. Um, not just the lines and the crosses. I know you, I know you didn't, you, I know that, you know, you quit before the lines and the crosses, but like the lines and the crosses happen, then they add X things in there. It's a good thing I graduated early. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You guys would be proud of Jeff. He graduated just after butt wiping, which coincidentally is before Todd did. Um, Yikes. It's not as fun messing with Todd when he's not here, but that's okay. I know. I know. Um, Charles, that shame. is Charls, that is fantastic. The that Twilight is like 2000. I keep hearing everybody and their brother, even freaking people are talking about that. I'm about to say, Kev has been getting all over the RPG train, man. He had some zombie shit out there on his table or on his <coughs> thing today. What's that all about? <coughs> he moved like into a bigger house and all of a sudden he's playing RPGs. Yeah, he's yeah. You gotta holler at your guy, Jeff. I ain't, thought, I ain't chatted with him in a while. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Greg. I know that feeling. Greg says he sees his work as a Jeff was having track tension. Yeah, exactly. He was doing track tension. He did track tension. Okay. okay. You, do you know what he's talking about? Track tension on your tanks, buddy. Oh, um, yeah, my APC. Well, that's right. Yeah. You're 113, right? Yep. Or were you in a 114 or one of the other variants? They had, when I got no, to he, them, he, 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 had, was an, he had he was an M75. But they got, uh, they just replaced him with 113s and 901s. He, he he was he was an, uh, an M seventy five. English. Like you got one of the you got one of the syllables right there. Uh, it's seventeen. The FT seventeen. Right, Jeffy Poo Poo. Uh huh. Oh, just kidding. Charles, bingo chips. Three for fifteen. Yeah, but I got to use those things. I tend to use three-quarter inch washers. You can use those things. You can get, Charles, honestly, with the number of fucking minis you paint, buddy, uh, it might be worth looking into. A lot of guys use those strike plates or whatnot. They're little stainless steel, like, discs, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term. Yeah. Like, Chuck, but they're you get super your... duper thin. That's the only issue. So you wind up picking up your figures by the miniature. Chuck, did you get your um, your Gettysburg from Worthington yet? Is it out already? I saw somebody today posted a playthrough video. A play video. Oh, dang. Okay. Well, unless maybe they just got it early. I don't know. But... I was about to say, like, I knew it was coming, but I hadn't seen anybody, like, posted, hey, look at me playing this thing. That's cool. Uh, they're playing the. They posted two clips already. So, have you lost the love and feeling for the Gettys or for the Worthington ACW stuff, Jeff? Oh, I sold seven days last night. And Shiloh, right? Or in uh, Antietam? No, seven days in Antietam. Judd Vance bought Antietam. Okay. I had hey, I had some guy send me an email or a message yesterday saying, "I'll give you seventy dollars for seven days and Shiloh plus shipping." And I politely responded back, no thanks. Yeah, didn't, didn't you get like 50 each for them? I got, uh, I got, um, oh, what I got, 70? No, I got <laughs> 70? 
I got Jeffy's seven, over I got here running a, Jeffy's over here running a retail operation. You for didn't pay that million. much for them games. So Hell, Nordic Maelstrom got uh um what did I said in France 40? No, Holland 44, he got that game for six dollars and sixty cents. Nice. <laughs> Is that how Wait much it costs to send it a mile up the road? <laughs> yeah, I told him $25 and he sent me $25, but it cost me $18.40 to ship it. <laughs> nice, Chris. There you go. $600? Uh, $1,300. Oh, okay. Six, six mil. Nice. Nice. It's, uh, I think it's going to look better on the table at a convention. I think you might have a very good point there. Uh. You know, I love playing the the three mil planes that uh, Reese had. Yep. But for a convention game where I'm wanting to generate, you know, hey, come look, one three hundred is going to be the way to go. That's fair. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I was looking at printing out a bunch of the Gukek one nine hundred. Yeah, and having each stand be a squadron. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because you've got the the three prongers, and it's really easy. So I'm not as much of a World War II aircraft guru as you guys are, and so it helps to be able to have the different formations to tell what everything is. Because Gukek's got his stuff, like his torpedo bombers are in a different you know, uh, formation than his dive bombers and his fighters and everything else. Yeah. So that's real Games helpful for like, me. Like, uh, hold on here. X is on solo right now. Hell yeah, he is. It's because he's playing Highway to the Rice. And you're playing a one, you're playing a 101st airborne scenario, right, Jeff? So you're down. Yeah, I'm playing the Hell's Highway scenario. And are you did you say you were between Eindhoven and Nijmegen? Yeah. Okay. Roll See, die, I man. I pay attention to what you're doing, Jeffy. Nothing. No hit. Did you find Elliot Gould yet? Uh, did you, did you see that comment that Don Howie made a minute ago? I posted that on Facebook the other day. Billy crap. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I think for Nord, I, I mean, I think I got, you know, I mean, there's still some minor unclarities to it, but uh, nobody from the post I had, nobody has uh, answered that. So no, that was stupid. So how many, how many divisions in the 101st area of operations have you taken, Jeff? How many what? How many bridges out of the 101st area of operations have you taken? Uh, well, this scenario starts with them already in control of it. Oh. Is it like is it like Toddy and I playing It Never Snows where they're all blown up already? <laughs> hey, Todd. Todd's got a question there for it. Or he says the rules are crazy. Those yeah. AT rules are crazy. That's right. There's the Irish cards, Jeff. Um, yeah, when Todd and I played through that, that was almost laughingly depressing because every single bridge we rolled for <laughs> it was knocked out. Jeff, did you see the John uh, question there? Uh, I don't know if 30 cores gotten up there yet. Put this on my screen so I can see what the hell I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. He said, or he asked where 30 core is at, Jeff. Uh, there's some of them right there. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. I'm oh, sorry. He asked where the Irish guards are. Sorry, not 30 core in general. Uh, they are not in this one. Um, yeah, actually, there are. There's some of their infantry's coming on here, short on um, turn 43. The objective of this game, the victory conditions, is uh, the only one is the Germans just need to occupy one road hex. They just have to interrupt the road? Just one. All they can do is occupy one road X at the end of the game. Oh, nice. Now, if you're the, so does that mean the British start in control of the entire road? 
the the allies have to own that this entire piece of road from here to here. Yeah, but do they start in control of it? Yeah, they did. Oh, okay. And they're still in control of, at the moment. Hell yeah. Again, hopefully you're better than Todd and I were at that. Because we were not... Uh... Yeah, you guys can go watch that video. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Atlantic Sentinels looks interesting, Charles. Which one is Atlantic Sentinels? It's the... Uh... It's the uh, British uh, destroyers going after U-boats. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes, it does. I was looking at that. I saw that. And I'll tell you guys what. I'm not... Never been a huge compass guy. Compass games? Yeah, but yeah, they certainly have I'm, some I'm, titles. I'm still not. Well, it's, it's fair, but they certainly have some titles that uh, are Peak really piquing my interest here recently. <laughs> that, that have made me think a little bit. Is that Solitaire? The Atlantic Central? Yes. And see, that's always my issue. Like that and DVG, I don't know how much. Like the, I think the only major, like, only like design for solitaire game I've really played through a lot of was War of the Worlds. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it was not. Like I played through it because I I just cannot get enough, you know, she wells. But it was not my just favorite kind of right off the bat. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know. I'm not knocking it. It was a fun game. I wound up buying the, the like, American expansion. Oh, boy. Brian, you starting up? Oh, oh my God. They missed. Is that Christopher? I, I'm, uh, I'm, sp I'm washing my uh, 109s. Nice. By, by the way, McMurray. Yep. Take a look. Hang on. That's what's up. There you go. See, what you got to do is you got to put Dick Bong in there like he didn't miss his flight because he, you know, decided he needed to buzz a guy's house. Yeah. Um, so you got to put him in Europe like he was supposed to be, like all of his original, you know, the guys he trained with were. Yeah. But instead he had to buzz a guy's house and then what's his name got mad at him and then was like, yeah, you suck, but also you, we need you. So like bad, bad blatant safety violations. Do that with the Japanese though, please. Right. Um, but if that's not how it always works, I don't know what is. Also known as, to a certain extent, the same reason that anybody now, knows the name Ronald Spears. I do have one compass game that I really want to play, but it's probably not a good time to play it right now. What's that? that? Test of Faith, the Arab Israeli Wars. I was about to say it's it's Arab Israeli, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck it. No time like the present, baby. John, they just got back from a convention. I was joking around that I was going to play Yom Kippur. All right, let's do some tank fire. That's actually a good point, Jeff. You know what I never wound up doing? What? So I played Heights of Courage. Pretty fun game. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> but you can play that with Yom Kippur as a larger game simultaneously. Oh. Right. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Uh, John, that... Uh... Uh, the March to Victory, that was in uh, Kansas City, well, Independence, Kansas City area. Yeah, that's um, just, that was last this past weekend. Yeah, that's, that's Kansas City. Walkabout has demanded you guys play it. Play what? Play what? 
Yeah. We've been talking about games this whole time. We talk about games. Walk about. Come on, now. you know better than that. You mean uh, McMurray? Goo cakes, plums like these. Nice swordfish. Yep. I like it. You're a needle. Hey, Big uh, ass we... capital ships. What's up, Jeff? I didn't say anything. Oh. Here he is, John. Got the copper. Jeff's gonna need some big ass, uh, or Chris is gonna need some big ass Italian or yeah, you know, the Bismarck. Okay, you're gonna do. Are you gonna get one of those? Like you could probably get away with the one seven hundred. Like the uh, I don't remember who makes it, but um, there are many one seven hundred. I think Tamaya might make one even. Because I think yeah. at one point in time they had a Denmark C like box. You know who would know that? Right. Chris Long. Yeah, he would. Because he probably has it. He does. Like three of them. That's also entirely true. Or possible. Um, no, I, this was just a test print to see how it came out. And then uh, and how it looked next to 13000 for for like force perspective. Yep. See, there's the question is, did so that were those printed out at 1300 at 6 mil? Uh, these were printed at uh, one nine hundred. Okay, so those are the original size. Yeah, I did not blow them up. Okay, I got. So you. I wanted to see how they printed out at regular size, and then uh, I'm going to do a do several uh, several different scales to see. How small can I get them and they still look good and don't break? Yeah, that's awesome, Lord. I have the Flyhawk A class. I didn't get the the crazy one. I just have the basic kind of model model. Not maybe the Flyhawk is. Those are incredibly detailed models to begin with. Oh. But yeah. What's up, sir? But it's hard to find non Japanese light cruisers, honestly. McMurray. Yes. Two days. It's Roma. What? Two days. It's Roma. What is Roma? April. April. April McMurray, Rome. I right, the twenty first. Huh? You talking about Rome's birthday? Well, it's the month of April, yeah. Rome. Yeah, it's the twenty first. But he, he's the type that celebrates the entire month. Mm. There'll be games for days. Minnie's trying to show up this celebration of, of Rome's birthday. That's why we did our that very first. You remember that first painting competition between the two of us, Brian? Yeah. That's why we said it either during April or why we made it Romans. I don't remember if it was the chicken or the egg, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wardrobe says, and now I am over here. Uh, no, he's oh. not. He's and... probably swapping between streams. Oh, look at Todd, Todd, Todd. Look, I got this dude. Yeah. He's always trying to show off starter sets, Toddly. Which is fair. He does, a, Brian does have a lot of starter sets. What's the best way to go, man? Four days of celebration. Okay. Starter sets are half measures. My 40th high school reunion is on my birthday in September. So, 40th. Um, oh, yeah. Photo action is a task to work with. That is for sure in 1700. It is. Man. It absolutely is. It's not Wargaming Noob uh, historical. He's uh, branched off into model building, model kit building. Yep. Yeah. I was kind of like, nah, I'm not going to jump back into that. <laughs> Why not, bright guy? Oh, because I got rid of 800 of those kits, man. 800? Yeah, 832, I think. 
Holy shit, buddy. And, uh, and I got rid of it all to go into Metro Orient. Somebody, somebody's got a problem. Um, Had a problem. You're probably still finding still does, on it's a, a different problem. Probably still finding on Scalemates. Scalemates.com under Atomic Dog and probably has my whole uh, uh, Yep. I'm about to say that's that's Atomic Dog stuff. Atomic Dog, it's kind of like you know when Obi-Wan Kenobi's telling Luke that uh, Anakin Skywalker's that. dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Atomic Dog is dead. Mini Warm-Up killed him. Now I have a starter set problem. Yes, Chris. <laughs> nah, John, I don't do the reunions, man. That's the school reunions. I don't give two shits about the people I graduated high school with, except for one person. That's Chris Jay. Copeland. No, Chris Copeland. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. If you're referring to Jay Wiley, he graduated the year before I did and at a rival school. No, I was talking about your brother. About four years behind me. We weren't even in high school together. I know. I'll be right back, guys. Bye. 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 Come on. Hey. Come on. Out. I got. I, don't know. I guess I'll keep doing an unboxing video. My unprofessional unboxing video. I have more stuff we can unprofessionally unbox if you want to, including some 28 millimeter. Ooh. It's a box set too. Yeah. See, I don't have to script or anything. I just unbox it, and man, there's something I don't know. I just wow, uh, that thing with Jingy. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hey. Anyway. I'm about to say, Brian, while no one was paying attention, Todd let me buy a starter set. Oh? What? Yep. What starter set? I don't know. We'll have to do an unprofessional unboxing at some point. Unprofessional unboxing. All right, fine. Can't be tomorrow, dude. Uh, no, I'm not sure. No, Monday I'll be moving first. For all you guys that are on here, things are going to be a little bit different over here than many warm ups. So, not sure how the any videos will be out over the week. Pee pee, pee pee. We'll see. Hey, Charles, if you're still on, are you guys getting rain right now? And the photo is held in reserve for blackmail purposes against McMurray. That's from Todd. Wow. Yeah, no shit. Damn. Don't don't you dare tell me you got some Warhammer crap. No, it is certainly not Warhammer. It's oh. not Warhammer. It's not 40k. Okay. Warlord games. All these fucking mongoloids I used to play Flames of War with and Bolt Action with, those idiots are all playing 40k now. That's the dumbest shit I've seen in a while. Yeah. Like there's <laughs> one guy who like convinced them to start playing 40k. And all the rest of them are going, man, this shit's expensive. Like, <laughs> what is, what is, what do I need for this? What do I need for this? Like, you dickheads. <laughs> and, and then you got to say, uh, hold on, because there'll be a new book out in two months. Yeah, give it a minute. In three years, we'll have a whole new edition. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see Goobertown's video about that? Nah, he's got one. Uh, yeah, he I made a think. whole video about. Is Warhammer forty thousand um, casual player friendly, <laughs> and how it just absolutely isn't because you're to spend your whole time just watching your opponent flip dice in a tray as they go back and forth to their rule book and their you know army book. Yeah. <laughs> It was just hilarious to hear him say that because that's the vast majority of his hobby. Oh, is crap. 40K. You're welcome, John. You see John's comment there? What's that? Well, uh, he 
You just said great job on your Fistful of Lead and Arena of Blood streams. I have purchased both of those games. And Hell yeah. John, hopefully you use the uh, the discount code, buddy. Wiley, dude. He put up our uh, stream on Arena of Blood, man, on his, his email blast. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We got, there's a lot of attention on that. Nice. There you go. Yeah. John Wise before, or yeah, well, oh, John Halley's leaving, not John Wise. John, the next time you order, buddy, Grant, hit that RW McMurray 23, and you'll get, I think it's like, what, 20 or 25% off, Chris, something like that? Is it all caps? Yeah, it's all caps. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good discount, to be honest with you. Um. So I'm yeah, step out and go home. So I will see you guys in a few minutes, dude. You got five minutes, Greg. So we, I expect you back. I'm gonna say, Greg, how far is going home? I was gonna say, <laughs> that's true, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna say, I thought you guys were like right down the street. Yeah. Oh, was he? Was he over at Keegan's house? Yeah, they said they were playing something with. Oh, Scooby Doo. That's right. Yeah, Scooby Doo. There you go. <laughs> Hexy, hexy, hexy. Where yeah, no problem, John. It's good for I think the whole the whole damn site, to be honest with you. So yeah, get after it, man. It is. You just can't use it over and over. <laughs> That's fair. I think Reese has one too. So holler at Chris and Reese on Tuesday. That's it, man. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell Wiley. What's up? I'm gonna tell Wiley. Hey, man, you need to get my own pad, my own discount key there, and I'll put and I'll add a ten dollar coupon to it. Well, the idea is to to have it for <laughs> games you're running. Okay. But yeah. Oh, well, I just recently did a fistful of lead game with you guys. What? Didn't we just? Yeah, has it been three weeks, four weeks when we did that game? Since we did Grimdale Part Two. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute, buddy. <laughs> yes, I demand. I have high expectations with my friends. Brian and I were just talking about how you need to put on Grimdale Part 3. Yeah, there's going to be a Grimdale Part 3. There's going to be a Part 4 and a Part 5. Because, so you know, uh, you might not know this, but Greg actually showed up to March to Victory. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, somebody, somebody showed up to Mark for victory after they said they would. So did Ashley. No, Brian's got a lot of stuff going on. I know, I know. Coming down that hard on Brian, even though we should. Yeah, Razzam, just a little about it. I know, I know. Um, Mark here, you're talking wrong. Um, so, it, it's being asked, like, how much resin is used. So, this was a plate full of BF 109s. Oh, here, hold on. Oh. You are now digging. Hexy's going to shoot. Shoot a with, video. with <gasps> supports. It's, it's six BF 109s in one 300 scale with supports uh, based off of what I had put into my system here. It was 7.1 grams of resin and it came out to be 21.2758 cents so it is very expensive in resin yeah costs. yeah and that includes so, the that includes the supports too by the way i had somebody ask yeah. me that recently yeah so i got six one three hundred scale uh bf 109s for twenty-two cents. Mm, is Hexy making a video? Now compare that to yeah. uh, GHQ. I'm going to shoot a video. Uh, okay, Jeffy. Come back. Um, I'm not even. I'm just going to oh, mute. Okay. Yeah. Uh, March, March hair there, McMurray. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, I should start a GA or a GW hate channel. Mini B, what's up? <clears throat> the uh, 
so once you use McMurray's uh, code, I believe mine is still active. All capitals, not J, N O T J A Y, all capitals. And I think that's 20, 25% oh Reese's. Um, I don't remember what Reese's is, but. I don't know if it's yeah. RW Crawford or. I, I don't know. I, I think it's RW. We'll figure it out and put it up. Yeah. But yes, Reese has a code as well. Um, again, the idea was originally to get codes to people who are running games so that they could offer the games at discount price or at a discount to the players. And then Rob and right. Jay kind of said, no, go wild. Put them out there everywhere. Right. When you're evangelizing, because I frequently find myself, you know, standing on pulpits and getting after it. There you go. Nord, between the two of us, I think everything that is... Chris, did you wind up buying any of the national bundles? No, I have not yet. Okay, so I have the German, British, and I think Italian national bundles from Gukek. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yes, that should be them. And then I think you have some, you got some U.S. battleships, didn't you? I've got U.S. battleships, not all of the U.S. battleships, but I've got some of the U.S. battleships. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to, I'd love to pick up the U.S. the U.S. pack, but it's spendy. It is. To be honest. honest with you, what we should have done is we should have each contributed half and just got, yeah. because he's got something that it's like 300 bucks, but it's every ship he's made. Yeah, um, which winds up being like a dollar twenty an STL or some shit. Obnoxious. See you, John. Take care. Bye, Thanks John. Hey, if, Bye, John. If this is this is going to be a uh, a shameless plug. Come check the show out on Wednesday over at uh, Not J. Yeah, it's called Not J. Uh, here on the YouTube's N O T J A Y. Shameless plug. I'm going to do it. I was about to say, I was real concerned there if you couldn't remember the name of your own channel. I was like, e Chris, buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> need to talk longer, about some stuff, and it's going to be real unpleasant. Uh, right. Um, so, yeah, you can get two of these. Two of these in white metal from GHQ for $14. Awesome. Or you can buy a 3D printer, dedicate yeah. you know, a few hundred hours to printing, and then wind up printing out just an ungodly amount of stuff. I, I, I could I could I could for fourteen dollars. I said <clears throat> these were twenty two cents for six. Yeah. Well, I mean the point is just ultimately, like I said, I just jumped over. Um, the way I usually figure out stuff on my 3D printer is I'll consider myself a okay with a printer. Once I have printed, you know, enough stuff to break even on the printer at the cost of, you know, if I'm printing one six thousand stuff, I'll look at what is it, G uh, Hallmark or Figurehead Miniatures. Yeah, and see what that is. If I'm printing out six mil armor, there you go. Um, and then once I hit that kind of magic number, I usually consider myself pretty happy with it, right? Like from there, it's gravy. So it's with that mentality, it's not super difficult to get to the point where I'm happy with, with my investment. And so it's kind of just play time and I don't feel like a, you know, a, a, like I need to be printing stuff. You know what I mean? Because there certainly is a point in time where it's one of those, oh, man, I spent all this money on this thing. I need to be printing shit. So for the price of two GHQ models, I can print out 382 of these. 
<clears throat> or everything you need in that skill for aircraft. Right. Yeah. Which is where I was with, with naval stuff and why in retrospect, especially since I have problems with scale on naval stuff, and by that I mean I like to have you've got naval. every you've got every scale possible. Yeah. I have a scale problem. Like I, I do. I'll be the first one to admit that. I'm not really worried about it, but just for capital it, ships in it's World a thing. War II, Yeah, just for capital ships in World War II alone, I've got, you know, I've 3D printed one three thousand, you know, one six thousand, one twenty four hundred. I three D printed a bunch of those one twelve hundred things. Yeah. And all of them off Gukex files. So yeah, the World War II Warship Complete Collection is three hundred and thirty one dollars, but it is literally every World War II STL file he has created. Which is, I think, what, like 16 pages? It's Oh, Chris. Okay, Enjoy your dinner, man. Yeah, take care, buddy. See you Wednesday. <coughs> happy uh, Happy Easter if they, you know, celebrate it up there in, in Canada and don't have it on some weird day. Well, they got plenty of rides up there. It's all right. No, Where's like in six months from now, like, you know, their Thanksgiving is the wrong day. They got a whole different New Year in Canada. It's the start of hockey season. No, oh, yeah, there is that. Ooh. Um, but yeah, it's it is crazy. And not um, not every one of his STLs that he's ever made is in there, but the World War II <laughs> ones are. Well, it's nine hundred and ninety three dollars worth of models. Exactly. Yeah. That's nuts. Uh, for a complete list, refer to this spreadsheet. Holy yeah. shit, snacks. Yeah, don't, don't. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, How many madness. lines? How You're good. How many lines? Well, they're not all on there. It's, it's, his, it's his working spreadsheet. So it's got stuff that he's sculpting now, and it's got a list of stuff that he will be sculpting as well on there. It's yeah. a cool spreadsheet, but it's colossal. He's got 749, uh, 749, uh, lines of models. Yep. yep. <clears throat> but yeah. And I mean, it's, wow. it, it really is. It's outstanding. One thing that again, so Chris Long and I lament this fairly frequently walk about games and I, there are one thing there are not a lot of good sources for is, rather like there's no good source for large you know uh collection single piece world war one naval stuff in terms right. of capital ships there's you can find gukek has a couple um there is hope or something like that has a couple Sotib has a couple lee mccall has a number of them but they're all they all have separate turrets, so it makes it really hard to um, put them in micro scale because all of a sudden your turrets are teeny tiny. Well, that's why you put them on, uh, you, you get them into Blender and you... Well, I get that, but he's also got like, there's texture on his decking and stuff that's kind of weird. It, it looks good when it's printed and painted at one fifteen hundred, right? But it's it's a torture test for your your resolution and settings at one six thousand, because he's right. got a he's got a HMS dreadnought that I tried printing and it was tough, 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 tough. <laughs> you're you're killing me, Nord. He goes, uh, among the things yeah. he's worth to play, he's got River Plate, Denmark Strait. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Narvik, again, not too bad. Guadalcanal. <laughs> <laughs> we got well, two I, 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 ships. Do, I do have all the ships for the first Battle of Savo Island. Yes, correct. Nor, you should. Now I'm just curious, Chris, as to how many. 
build plates it would take at one six thousand to print lady in just combat oh, yeah. units, not transports just in terms of the biggest naval conflict arguably that ever took place yeah i feel like it probably might not actually be that insane well not at one six thousand oh yeah one six thousand it it, it there's just there's so many like you'd have to have a build plate just for u.s carriers and escort carriers you, you, yeah <clears throat> that'd be the funny thing is you could probably get now, close you, to all the japanese units on one plate yeah maybe two and then you'd need probably five um, or six for the u.s you could actually you could get the entirety of surga straight on a single plate and have extra space well that's that's my point well that's a good point but at the same time, that at least on the U.S. side, you're saving a lot of space because you got five escort carriers and you know a half dozen destroyers and destroyers. Yeah, um, that might be the hey, one Tim. place. What's up? I'm oh, saying, hey, Tim. Hey. Tim. Tim. Yeah, that might be the one place that you know in in Lady that or in yeah in Lady Gulf that the Japanese outnumber the Americans. It doesn't help that that's what half of the Japanese forces in Lady Gulf. Yeah, we're pretty close to it. Real close, yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be cool. I was looking at Murray's Al Kabir again, and I realized I didn't have. I have the French vessels I need from Nordic we or from Badger with a pen, but not Gukek. So I need to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah, again, weird. you know, Badger with a quill is not bad, but to be honest with you, are they as it is. good as? Yeah, especially if you're printing larger than one six thousand. But I mean, yeah. one six thousand, they're pretty. I'm not. They are decent. Quill, it's good because they are super consistent. Like they are going to print. Period. Yes, they are going to print. They are going to print with all of the components that are supposed to be there. They're not going to leave, you know, tiny little cured chunks of resin in your printer. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, there's a lot to be said for them. Those are what I was, um, build little battle packs out of and given to folks around St. Louis here when we were, when I was farting around a whole bunch with playing one 6,000, you know, at stores and whatnot. Right. Cause I did, I printed so much of that stuff again i printed the kriegsmarine a couple times over and shit like that well because you can yeah like i had an entire build plate for my mars 2 pro that was just merzel beer and then some other random stuff yeah um but yeah, I still think that'd be a cool game to play out is Murray's Al Kabir if everybody got, you know, if the French actually made it out to sea. Not that that's even remotely feasible, but, you know, because that's, you know, kind of what they were trying to do. But, um, yeah. I was thinking about running, Chris, you'll appreciate this, running a Murray's Al Kabir game that's a cooperative game. Where yeah. the objective is just to like, it's like playing a game of whack a mole. Oh yeah, the, right. The, the three players are just, you know, one of them takes what is it formidable, and yeah. then you've got renown and ramelies, and those are the other two players, and you just see who can sink the most French ships. There you go. I finished. Boats, boats, boats. I finished clipping for King and Country today. Nice. What is King and Country cover? That is the British Order of Battle for AFL. All right, all right, all right. Now I got to start on the Quadrigare one, which has a massive amount of shit in it. Say Quadrigare? Is that those icky French people? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, so um, bear with me. Very. What is AGL? ASL. A oh ASL. Squad leader. Advanced squad leader. Okay. Now, Jeff, is that free French and Vichy? 
I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. I think it's um. In collaborators or. Well, okay. So t Todd's trying to explain this shit to me as I go along because I don't quite understand it, but um, um, I think it is. So when they do the order of battles, most like the Beyond Valor box has a uh, Germans and Russians, and it's supposed to be the entire order of battle to fight any of the East Front fights with the Germans and the Russians. And uh, then you have different boxes like the one we got on pre-order right now, Doom Battalions, has all the minor countries yeah. like Romania probably and Hungary and stuff like that. And then uh, King and Country has the British order of battle with all the different <coughs> vehicles and infantry types. And uh, apparently Quad de Guerre is, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's French 40. Okay. And then it has a historical one in it too that has the Germans for the historical. So I, I'm I'm you know I'm still only playing starter kit, and that's where I'm going to play. I'm about to say I thought that's where you were kind of not necessarily drawing the line, but that was where you were going to say, okay, I'm going to stick with starter. Thank kit. You. So there's oh, your Jesus, Mary and Joseph, French and Vichy and Free French, French Vichy and Free French. There you go. And why shows up just to say he's going to sleep. Good night, buddy. Take care. Yeah. Good night, Chris Nanguaya. Let us put you to sleep. Let us talk you to sleep, Nanguaya. Okay, you mean I, did, I don't have the Axis miners. I got to order Army of Oblivion. I've got Army of Oblivion around here, but it's the old one. I don't want that one no more. Oh, Jesus. Because I like all the, back me of some dude. the cardboard maps, not the hardback ones. I don't like games with hard back maps. I mean, I don't, I have a bunch of them, but I don't, I don't like mountain maps as long as they can lay 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 flat. That's the all issue right. with all my old games that I really like playing, but the mounted maps are god awful. Like right. to the point where. Hi, Scott Grimman. Hey, Scott. Well, here like, I'll put it to you this way: this right here. Yeah. And I need to get probably split these out some more. This is Beyond Valor. Three of them, Russians and Germans. Three 32 slot boxes, and they're packed to the freaking brim. Jesus. And that's just German and Russian. All the legions? Italians? Yeah, see all their core boxes with their all the different nations' order of battles. They they have a lot of shit in them. A lot. Mm. I mean, there were, let's see, there were, I think, eight counter sheets in just the British Order of Battle for King and Country. Hollow Legions no. yeah. is like a, it's a it's an artsy play on words. The, the, the front of the box, the box cover, is just lines and lines of Penne Regatta standing, you know, in lines and in formations. I thought it was a bowl of spaghetti. Because they're the Hollow Legions. <laughs> but but Penne is, is hollow. Yeah, it's a pasta joke, but I had the right noodles. Come on, buddy. Jeez. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, like they're obviously the Skeddy guys. Skeddy guys. I saw two videos tonight. Mike, big time, dude. I've got a couple of games like that. Like you get the game, right, and all the counters are in the sheets still. Nice, Chris. <clears throat> and it fills up the box. Nice. Oh, you want me to blow you up? Nah. Now I got to do the. Uh, now I got to do the. Uh, the glass. Mike, I'm the same way. I don't like that either. You just doing sky blue, Chris? But they're gonna have to start. They'll have to start making games with freaking <clears throat> five inch boxes and specialized trays to fit them all, which means the pipe meter through the roof. I never quite like. I understand that like vacuum form stuff is cheap. Like the GMT trays and whatnot. Yeah. But it what rule do you like use for those planes, Chris? Uh, I am going to be using Fistful of Lead Starfighters with World War II overlay. Because I'm crazy like that. The other game I can use with these rules is. Um, Bring the BB gun. Accurate. No. I mean, they only cost 
a quarter of a cent apiece. Hang them from the ceiling right. on strings and take a BB gun and go sit down the hallway and see if you can knock them out of the sky. Ack, ack. Dude, <laughs> the BBs cost more than the fucking planes. I'm not going to waste BBs. Remember, hey, remember when we were kids, the little guns you could buy at the grocery market that had the little yellow round plastic balls you put yeah. in them? I used to you love those things, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I can use the, the World War II aerial combat fast and easy rules. Those are outstanding, by the way. Uh, they are. They, they, um, I might, I might, uh, uh, do a little bit of, uh, tweaking because, well, that's what gamers do. We tweak shit. But yeah, those are excellent rules. Here we go. So actually, I've got a process for my canopies, uh, McMurray. I put down white and then transparent blue on top of that. Oh, okay. There you go. Go, go for, for it, painting. How you doing? Hello. Go for it. I'll be back in just a moment, gents. No. I'm just muting. Jesus, relax. No, no. Don't fall asleep on the toilet. Yeah, dude. Right. Too late. Already did that. That's where I was quiet earlier. <laughs> where do you think I've been for the last 30 minutes? <laughs> hey, I I hit 395. Yeah, just done. Yeah. Oh, man. Did, uh, did Todd hit 3,000 or not? Uh, yeah, I don't know. He was almost there, pretty much. Yo, Joy of Wargaming hit five. I found him, yeah. I know, I, I heard know that Chuck everybody told here that, is either I... already aware of Joy of Wargaming or what have you, or following. But if you're not, go give him a look. He does some really cool stuff. He's been doing a lot of RPGs recently because he's recovered from an eye injury. But Todd's at 28-something. Go give him away. Tell him the guys from Not Jay and Hex to Hex and Warm up. McMurray said hi. He's yeah. good people. He's been on here. He's played games with us before. Yes, he has. Yeah. He's a, he's a good dude. I, I need to reach out to him again and say, hey, whenever you're ready, let me know. We'll have him back on. We can play cool games that he can't play because he's got size restrictions on his hobby space. So we can right. play stuff with big models or big games or something like that. Is he in New Jersey right now? What? He's in New Jersey right now. I know, and I'm really tempted to send him a bunch of stuff because it's way cheaper to send it to New Jersey than Hawaii. <laughs> but he always says, don't send him stuff. Yeah. Maybe I need to send him, like, a box, tell him I'm going to send him a shit, like, one single boat, and then just send him a box like they sent you, Brian, where it's quite literally packed to the gills. When I send Brian stuff, I don't usually have to have packing material because the packing material is other models. Right. Yeah. That was good. Brian, you got them. Didn't that was yours, wasn't it, Brian? That I sent you that box? It was just legitimately full stuff. Yeah, you didn't. Things. There's no room for packing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter there, go for it. Happy Easter, go for it. Yeah. So, All right. Now we'll be right back. Don't go. Dude, you gotta take a wicked go. piss. Don't go changing. Andrew says, Try to please me. Oh, so Mike, you bought that game off eBay and there's two tiles missing. Yeah, that that's sucks. gotta be. I mean, especially if they're, you know, you definitely need those tiles for the game. I hate that. I hope I never send a game to anybody that's like that. I had one that I sold that had one counter missing, but it was a, it was a, like, there were many of that type of counter. So, don't you need to have all the counters though? Well, I mean, if it's specific, like, you know, like if it's a historical type mm -hmm. and it's or a specific a unit. unit, you know, unless you feel like making one, which I've done that for many games over the years. It's kind of a, you know, and you pay for it. If you pay up, you know, the prices of what these some of these out of print games are, it's kind of, a, you know, I don't know. It's, I'm, it is what it is, but, you know, you'd rather that didn't happen. 
Sprue. The sprue here, the Kings of War sprues, they have it all coordinated with the, uh, you know, yeah, those are the most unique sprues for minis I've ever seen. Yeah. Thought you were done buying minis that you had to piece stuff, stuff together. I know. Thought you were going with one piece stuff from now on. I know. And I thought you were going 15 millimeter. I am. I got tons of 15s. I just put up uh, another video of the Civil War dudes. Oh, really? Uh, Union Infantry Park. Yeah. Uh, next is going to be Cap Calvary. Uh, I already got them primed. Probably get them painted. I, wanna, I think I'm going to send. Um, I, I, do battle, I do Picacho Peak tomorrow. All those games stacked up in that corner and the bottom <laughs> four <laughs> on here. Or all the Europa series. And oh. I'm either I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put them up for sale first and see what happens, and then whatever's left, if anything doesn't sell, I'm gonna send it to Noble Knight. Yeah. Those are old, old out of print. Jeez, you didn't hear what I said, man. What'd you say? Well, I was talking and you tried to cut me off. You've done that a couple times tonight already. We're going to have to have a discussion about that. Because I can't get a word in edgewise. You guys are always sitting there. Blah, 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 blah. That's why you brought us on. <laughs> so, now, what'd you say? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm playing Battle of Picacho Peak tomorrow. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> All of the Europas, Mikey. All of the Europas. I want them gone. Yeah, I've got I second front. I've got Fire in the East. Holy crap, our AC came on. I heard a kitty cat. Yep. I think he's wanting out. What you want, buddy? Oh, you're not buddy. You're a big girl. How you doing, Fluff? I know somebody that would buy almost all of those games for me, but because they're clipped, bunched and clipped, they won't touch them. I'm like, what? I do great work. They're snobs. That's clay. Um, Wobbles War. Maybe I don't have one. Is that in a... Unless it's in one of the boxes. Uh, I don't have one Wobbles War in its own box. But would that be Wobble when he was in the desert or Wobble when he was slipped, shipped over to the Mediterranean? And I uh, Nord, that's one I'm keeping, buddy. At least, well, for right now. I mean. It might be, Mike, it might be, because he sent me the whole collection. It might be in one of the other boxes. I just have to look. It'd probably be in the, in the desert box, I'm thinking. I've got the Balkan front. I've got fucking Spain and Portugal. The Philippines. Ah, see, I told you, McMurray's gone. Okay. I'm getting ready to put up all my Avalon Hill GCACW games because I don't need them anymore. Somebody will want them. Collector's items. Uh, I'm hungry. I got a bag of Taco Bell stuff out there, but I don't know if I want to. Oh, I had that this, for this afternoon. Oh, man. Time to do the orchards. See if I got to nibble on here. I might bust out the zombie side game here tomorrow. I'm down to the last mission of that prison outbreak, and then I can move on. Feed my zombie side enthusiasts. Got a whole bunch of TT combat coming my way. And uh, McMurray is going on with my internet connection. The video keeps buffering every 30 seconds. I don't know, Scala. 
I wonder if you want to see a few other great battles of the AWI, Hexy. What? You have the great battles of the AWI? Oh, the Great Revolution? Yep. Hey, Ulan, what's up? Ulan's here, Hexy. That picture I sent you today of those Revolutionary War games that you were talking about, I sent you the picture of that one tri pack I got. That's the closest thing you're going to get to it. Great battles for that stuff. Ulam, Jerry, what's up, buddy? I have the, the tri pack Nord, which I'm trying to get rid of cheap, too. Was oh, that what you showed me? Yeah. Yeah, everyone screamed at me not to get it or something. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you know this, Chris, but I got a whole bunch of Hex Encounter games. Nice. Yeah. I play some cardboard. So, but, you know, I don't do the 200, 300 count crap. A lot of them are the magazine games. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's, that's strategy and tactics. All set for Groundhog Day. Jeffy's in the kitchen with Dinah. Mm. Yeah, Jeff got me to buy all those games. I have the yeah, I have the GMT tri pack. Never played it. Everything's clipped, sorted, punched. I have all the counter all the counters are I have in one of the big Walmart trays. Some uh not all of them, but most of them. And I tried to sell it, but there was no hits, no takers on it. Um Brandywine, Saratoga, and um, Guilford, and peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly? Uh huh. Peanut butter and jelly time. Late night go to. Jelly, jelly. Come on, McMurray. What happened to him, dude? Well, I'm hoping Todd's going to join us here in a minute. Hope. He's, he's been trying, chatting. He's trying to. He's finishing proofreading something. I think I had that whole thing up for like sixty-five bucks. Look, then sorted. Yeah. Well, yeah. Todd joins, and then McMurray's not here. Never have the whole game. Never. Never. Jerry, Jerry, you done any more on your um the seven days thing? I tell you, I'm gonna be letting go of a lot of my games, a lot of them. And why is that? Never gonna play them. Uh -huh. Urgent. Urgent out, man. What's the fourth one, Chuck? Is it a small one or something? <gasps> Might as well just jump in on here. <laughs> Chatting back and forth with uh, gamers with coffee here. here. Well, they, they could get on. Hey, GWC, why don't you get on the live feed, man? I can send you the link. It's not a problem. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I should do like an open mic night, huh? <laughs> if you guys want to jump on, I'll send you a link. But you go crazy. Oh, you call Huh? The, there's a there is a fourth battle in that box. Who taste friends? You taste friends. Yeah, I'm Charles trying to say right there. 
that's the fourth battle that's in that Revolutionary War box I have. I mean, it's not a bad looking game. If I'm not interested in it. Yeah, Big Bird fell down the toilet. Yes, I've been looking at those every time you post a new uh, model up. Dude, you know a fistful of lead, Chris? Yeah, I know it. Why? <laughs> Why? I wish that it should be getting a bigger following, I think. I just, You're not wrong. Uh, hey, let's glue arms backwards. <laughs> They're beautiful people. We got an army. Hey, it's Mythos. So Frost and Fizz. Check out Mythos channel if you guys have a chance. He's more of he's more of the uh, 40k, but you know he does have like a, oh I know he's got a Star Wars Legion box there, and I know he's got some. Marvel Crisis stuff going. Nice, Mike. <laughs> oh, I'm told to send an invite. Okay, I'll send you an invite. I have all of them, Nord, and that's a very good series. What's the series? VCS, Battalion Combat System. And the invite is sent. The invite is sent. Uh, and oh, there's McMurray. McMurray's back. Yay! Sorry, guys, my phone died while I was muted. Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Shatterpoint 2. Yeah. I had a brace and cherries. They're saying. already making a Shatterpoint 2? No, no, uh, Mythos just jumped on chat and I was oh. telling everyone what, he's, what he uh, plays. Nordic, actually, the only one that I don't like is Aircourt. I think the only reason I don't like it is because it's big counters. Really? Yeah. There's just something about that system that doesn't look like it looked good to me in the bigger counters. Wait, what did what Brian? What did you have Greg restricted on? I, I'm restricted. Grunt, I haven't seen your name in a while, buddy. Yeah, there you go. All right, McMurray, here you go. Oh, you invite the Greg. Just oh, beautiful. Look at that go. Yeah. You gonna put any like yellow on it or uh like invasion striping or anything? Yes. Well, I gotta figure out what uh, uh what squadron I'm gonna paint them up as, or what bomber group. I'm, yeah, what squadron I'm gonna paint them up as uh, with the decals, and then I'll you know I'll put the appropriate paint markings on it. That's fair. So I tend to kind of just wing the uh the what should we call it the invasion striping on them yeah at least my americans i don't know i like it because i don't ever really put decals on them at least not right no i mean just period i don't have i'm not gonna lie to you guys um no i'm i'm gonna decal up all of them and they're gonna i'm even gonna uh decal up these guys especially at uh, six mil that'll make them look really good i mean it's yeah. like the Oh, you want me to Hold on. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have so much trouble telling, like, 109s and. Got it. Fit Where was that? Go, go for it, painting. Where was that held at? <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's hey. um. Yeah, what was it about? Games. I will do a. I'm gonna um, Brian. I'm gonna go on my phone. Okay. And um, I went to Invigid me, and I'm going to show. Uh, uh, you can, yeah. He just wants to be like McMurray. 
hang out oh. on your phone. So like, while you're going to go on your phone and log off to the PC? Oh, jeez. I think it'll kick me off, yeah. Or I'll put two of you on there. I'm about to say, it, you usually put two of you on there, so just mute. I think, it be, though, I think it kicks me off. I really do. Oh, I mean, okay. yeah. oh yeah, because you log in. That's right. That makes sense. That way I can, I'll show my games real quick. Hell yeah. I'll be right back, guys. All right. We got yesterday we had War Game Con with lots of historical and sci fi games. I will do a short report on it soon. Go for it. I look forward to seeing that. That looks awesome. It sounds <laughs> awesome, my <right> bad. <sighs> Man, Jeff, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty sure Kev's War Games room right. is like the size of a floor in my house. Oh. Wait a minute. I know. Now I'm gonna have to take you off our movie from the PC. There we go. Okay. Oh wow. Let me turn. Let me. Now, how do I flip this phone around? Oh, look at the lag. Got to be a way to do it. Oh, here you go. We're having a senior citizen moment right here. Well, I don't know how to make the phone flip over <laughs> the other side. Yeah, let's do you have to go throw your phone. Yeah. Go to the what? three dots. Settings, camera, and then you have to switch to back camera or front camera. I didn't do this. Get off my lawn. Uh, I can't figure this out. What's this part here? Uh, Halo uh, game. There you go. That worked? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, Jeff, pick up your underwears. Come on. Are you serious? There we go. That worked? Yeah. yeah All right. Worked. There's my MMP shelf. And these are most of the games that I probably won't get rid of. So I've got that's his MMP bookcase. Yeah, yeah, bookcase. Yeah. So um, uh, the only OCS one now that's missing because I sold it was Case Blue. All right, and there's all the uh, line of battle and all the BCS stuff and some OCS stuff. I really want to play that one. Beyond the Rhiny Rhine. Um, that one GMT game snuck in there and. That one decision game. There's another game I want to play, decision games. And then there's my TCS stuff, which I got a couple of those that are missing. And there's all my uh, Napoleon Brigade and Civil War Brigade system stuff. All right. And then there's my decision games, Goss stuff. And Did you get rid of game. all of your SCS? No, 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 no. Uh -uh, no, no, no. They're oh, in a okay. different location. Okay, when you said that was your MMP case, I was like, oh, God, there's no SCS. God, where is my SCS? I've stored it somewhere. Oh, is that it right in front of you there? Yeah, Those right look in like front of you there. Boxes. Yeah, there's Day of Days. I'm going blind. Where is it? Right second. Oh, right there. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. There's So there's a lot of my SCS right there. Yeah. And probably my favorite, Barbarossa. Yeah. There's some more MMP stuff right there to the right. That's the CW. Yep. Oh, wait. So here's all here. Here's all the stuff I'm getting rid of right now. There's all the GCACW original. All right. Some of that stuff there. Arden 44. Man, that copy of Arden 44 made it all the way to my house. Right. Armada. From Jeff's yeah. house. He sent it to me, or he sent it to Todd, who gave it to me, and then I gave it back to Todd to send back to Jeff, and now Jeff's selling it. I can't believe this, these two games right here have not sold. Yeah, I was surprised um, Ironclad didn't either. That seems like one that gets gets going pretty quick most of the time. Hey, it's, got the, it's got the expansion set in it. What yeah. printing is our Dens 44? That's the, I think that's a first. Yeah, because Todd says I should have the newer version to, test, to try to play it. And there you go, uh, Nordic. Two copies, buddy. Just like it had the extra counter. One's going I can't, to me. I can't wait for the new one to know. Is that where you're going to put There's another one I'm going to sell right there. Under and I'm going to sell that puppy, too. Is that where you're going to put Stigler's game? No, no. Thunder Knees is Frank Chadwick. No, I know that. I'm saying that spot on your GBA CW shelf. Is that for Stigler's game? It sure is. Very good guess. 
That one empty spot, there's all yep. the Europa crap. There's some more Europa crap. I want to play this some of those. I want to play that. And I want to play that. I got so I got so much stuff, man. To call yeah, I might say, now that I played Bitter Woods, I might let that one go too. I'm about to say you played that. There's a good game. Anybody has the ball to play that game. I played it. That looks like Rick Barber. It is. That's the only game he designed completely. Oh dang! There's a is compass game one right here. I like Ardennes, and I want to play these. I haven't played these yet. I want to play those? I actually want to play this right here. Chestnut sent me uh, the Panzer Command. I want to play that. That's how GTS got started. Oh man, Jeffy, Mike's selling Case Blue if you need it, and maybe campaign for North Africa. No, I you sold my Case Blue because I wasn't going to play it. Mike, you might shout at Clay if you're getting rid of campaign for North Africa. Something tells me that might be an easy. He does. For well, he wants one that's not punched and clipped. Well, that's fair, but he also, I'm sure, you don't think he wants more copies. He wants two more. Exactly. But he wants them not punched and clipped. That's insanity. What the hell is he doing? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm very good about clipping my games. I'm going back to my... Uh, I know. Jeffy clips all the games he doesn't even play. No, I'm not doing that. There's a question. Jeffrey, I'm, have you clipped... I'm not any, selling those. Have you punched and clipped Armada? Brian, you can take put off solo. It's back on Brian solo. I know. It's because I terminated mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, Armada is going for sale if, it, if it'll sail. So. No, but is 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 Armada punched and clipped? Got beat somewhere. All my games are punched and clipped. So Armada is punched and clipped. Yep, ready to play. Huh? Oh man, Mike says his campaign for Africa it. is unpunched. Where's the feed at? The what? The feedback. I don't know. Echo. Echo. No, I don't hear anything now. I turned off my phone. Uh, all right. All right, good deal. Um, like no, Nord, I'm not selling. Uh, I tell you what, I, the one I may sell, and it's it's probably the one that's worth the most, is Coming Storm. I'm thinking about it. I haven't decided yet. Jeff, you got to let me know when Armada goes up. Do you, you want, want it? Want? Maybe. So, again, I don't know. I've got the maps. And some counters for it, but I don't have the rule book, and I don't know if my maps and counters are complete. <laughs> we're looking well, you at take that. A look if you want. You, if you want it, I mean. But I mean, you were because you were looking around that thing, weren't you? I, I, you know, why I bought that? That was part of. That was one of the games I got from Marker Zero. Yeah, but I mean, you like I seem to remember you actually looking at that. And me thinking you were might actually take a shot at playing it for a minute there, weren't you? Uh, right, because it had apparently had land based action too. Yeah, that's the whole point of the Armada was they were invading England. Right. Yeah, you can't invade oh. England with no troops, Jeffy. Mike, you ought to get hold of Claystone, buddy, and sell your campaign for after him because if the if the components are you know unpunched and everything, he'd probably buy it from you. Yeah, that's that's my point. If he's got punched components. And good box. I'm 100 percent sure he'd wind up going after unpunched oh, in the box. He could swap out. Yeah, see, Mike's right. See, Armada's only worth maybe 10, 15 bucks. I know people don't like it because they say that the uh, it's just a it's just a wipe. Which, I don't know. One of the forces just destroys the other one, no matter what. So, well, without a divine win, the Spanish should just womp 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 the English. But right. And they say that the land portion of the game is pathetic. So, how's that go, McMurray? Fomp, fomp, fomp. See, if you played historical games, you'd understand that language. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that was ultimately the issue with most of these SPI games I got in that big bundle. Yeah. Is yeah. especially with them being in flat packs and not necessarily guaranteed full. It's their five ten dollar games. 
Some of them were quite great. Well, if you want, if you want the Armada, it is all yours, buddy. And Todd, Todd, I think I got one game. Todd wants two, so I can just send both of them to you guys. Oh, baby. <clears throat> Murray, I got Armada for you too, man. Shut up. <laughs> so come on. Brian has Mantic Games Armada, also known as Armada. Going to waste a bunch of time. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> It's not my fault you enjoy playing unhistorical garbage. Oh, yeah, I do it's all great yeah, thing. Like, well, don't some of them ships have like my, mouths with teeth in them and shit? And, oh yeah, big old hammer fist things on the front. Yeah, 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 that. Yeah, the real stuff. Put a hammer fist up your. <clears throat> um, what are you saying, McMurray? <laughs> well, I just want to ask nice commentary if you want, man. Nord, I yeah, by all means, hop on in. Yeah, got a lot of that. It's going well. <clears throat> I actually, Jeffrey, you'll probably be proud of me. I cleared off most of my table that I play games on. Get out of here. Looking at uh, putting a couple things down there. Nice, nice. Looking at, I think I might finally take, dude, there is not, I was looking, man, for tutorials. <laughs> Like walkthroughs for Great War at Sea. There's fucking right. nothing. I need uh, Prussia's Glory too, and I missed an opportunity to get it for forty bucks. Ooh, didn't I get you Prussia's Glory one? Or no, yeah. I got you Great Battles of Frederick the Great. You got me what? Great Battles of Frederick the Great or something, right? No, you got me. I've got Prussia's Glory one sitting over there. You sent me that. Okay. And I need I two. found that at the first march to victory. No, yeah. I think about it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but re uh, you need to post some more stuff over on the Facebook there, Nord, with some pics. Evil Stu says that's a good set to flesh out games of frost. Armada? We no. must be thinking of a different thing. Because Armada is Mantic's like real small scale naval game. It's like one to six hundred or something, except for it's fantasy, so that the rules are made up and the points don't matter. Or the scale is made up and the terms don't matter. Oh, Todd sent me something. Is is uh, Mikey is um is uh, Market Garden? Is that the next BCS title that's coming? I think that's what Todd's talking to me about. And I will pre-order that too. They're doing their week in Highway to the Reich and Goss also. Which everybody and their brother will buy. I'm telling you, man, I, I'm thinking of the money that's being missed on nobody doing any Goss for the East Front. Goss is, I just can't imagine the money that Decision Games makes on Goss due to the number of people that buy it eight times. Yeah, we know one. Yeah, I know. You are one. No, I've never bought it. Oh, you just kept it and you've tried it like three times? Well, I didn't have, so when I first started, I, I Hurricane's Force and uh, I had, I've had Bach Dom Ryan for years. Oh, okay. That was that was the only one I had. Holy smoly two thousand SPQR. Hey, yeah, let me I wanna take I wanna tell y'all something. You wanna talk about a good fella? He yeah. sent me a letter. I should have took a snapshot of showed you. And uh, 2K dude, that letter goes up on my refrigerator, brother. That thing ain't going nowhere. And we Todd and I were talking the other day, and Andrew, this is gonna be you're gonna be part of this. And Brian, you actually might you or Chris actually might do pretty good with this one too. Because he does models. And yeah, so um, yeah. we're gonna bring him into a show and we're gonna grill it. And you guys that do some of this painting and stuff would be good to have on there. So he do he does some of those boat models, even yeah. And 2K don't so we're this is you're not being blown off. We've we have been discussing, we got three people that we need to do. We want to do some shows with, and you're on that list. So, hang in there, buddy. It may take a little while, but we'll work it out. We're gonna have you and Nicole Kidman on on the same night. 
<laughs> we made it, guys. <laughs> Look at that. You should, Mike. We'll make it when it's Salma Hayek. Salma. Nah, I moved off. Moved on from Salma. No. Uh, That's probably your girlfriend. We get you on here. You better be ready to cut loose. Give her Cara. That's what we do. And we're gonna talk some Gettysburg too when we get you on. So, Brian, that's the one where the guys have like ice weapons in it. Yes. That you were talking about yesterday. Yes. Yes, they have some really. Well, I watched a video like that. I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's totally different. I I even corrected myself. Um, the the weapons on these newer Northern Alliance are like all ice blades. Like they're really cool. Reminds me of Game of Thrones. I did see, I did see a game or some miniatures, Jeff. That you probably be pretty interested. Amazing. That Brian, uh, that Brian not posted the, a video of. Did you see not, that video? Not the hook. Yeah. The, no, I haven't watched it yet, but he told me about it. Yeah, I saw a video, Brian, um, and they are not the miniatures you're painting right now. What's up with that? <clears throat> Hold on. Um, selected here. What? Uh, what's up with the video you put out of some really cool miniatures and they're not the ones you're painting right now? I believe they were on bingo chips. Yeah, the 15s. Uh-huh. Yeah, the ACWs. Yeah. Yeah, what about Where are your little Pokemans? Pokemon? Yeah. Well, peek at you guys. Yeah, they just need to be, paint be painted. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I also got these Crusaders I got to get going, too. You do? Yeah, I have not forgotten about Axan. Thanks, Nord. You've just forgot about Hexy. Hexy, no. No. I've not forgotten about Hexy. Hexy's got to be willing to play because we're going to... I'm not sure if it... Should we do bigger battles with it or not? Well, the problem is we should have done this thing during the winter months when I'm not playing golf every day on the weekend. Accurate. Man, I'll tell you guys what. I've been on a pickle kick recently. Pickle? Yeah, sweet pickles. Okay. You like to tickle the gherkin? What's up? Do you like to tickle the gherkin? I've been jerking the gherkin. Um, but <laughs> it it's a tough run finding a good crisp sweet pickle nowadays. I don't know why. It seemed like when I was a kid, they were all crispy. Vlasic. But that's not the... So, yes. Vlasic is, is not, like, entirely crispy, but they're consistently my... the, the, the best kind of bar. In terms right. of reliability and everything. Also, the jars of sweet gherkins are $3 at Menards, which is pretty slick. I didn't think that they'd be the cheapest at Menards, but they're... Five dollars store, three dollars at Menards. Um, so you know, mm. props off to hats off to maintenance, but save yeah. big money at Menards. Yeah, it's not even worth my eleven percent back. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why we were talking about that, other than that I'm sitting here in my underwear at my kitchen table eating pickles out of the jar. Ooh, I'm gonna build this up too, man. Huh? I'm gonna build this up too. The Tinker Turf. What's that? It's a terrain. These are uh, guard towers. Oh baby. Yeah. So, <sighs> Johnny, man, I'm gonna bust my butt here and hopefully put up a really good tabletop game. I don't know what the hell. I, what the hell was I talking about? How the hell did I get on the, the top of pickles? You just went on the pickles, man. So. Because you're sitting there in your underwear at your kitchen <laughs> table. Pickles. Yes, Scala. <laughs> pickles from a little Yeah, we are. We are, Scala, because you got to get crispy pickles because soft mm. pickles are gross, and hard pickles, you're like one step away from chugging dongs. So the key is crispy. <laughs> uh, Brian, Brian's, Brian's channel's about to get banned. Huh? Mm, I hope not. <laughs> There we go. There's some pictures, Nord. No, that's my Yeah, man. see, Nerds Nerd knows what's up. 
I know. I don't, that's, what, that's what I was laughing about. <laughs> yeah, dude. So there is there is a jar at Menards that's like a sweet, spicy pickle. That might also be awesome. Like, I was eyeballing that pretty good, nerds, nerd. I might have to get back on that one. But. All right, time to focus again. Oh, no, last one. Freaking pickles. Yeah, like the Schnooks, the like local grocery store brand here. There's the gherkins aren't great. The sweet minis aren't bad, but there's just so much sugar in uh, jars of those. That's the other thing about the plastic. There's not actually that much sugar, which is nice. Hey Nordic, that's the new France Forty, right? Because that does have a lot more map in it than the. Uh, so we're talking about McMurray's pickle. Yeah, yeah well, no. nobody else does, so he has to. Chat's talking yeah, about Stella Hyatt. Hyatt. <laughs> well, that was outstanding. Nord, those are good pictures, buddy. The fuck? Boy, you got some cutoff units. <laughs> Okay, I will admit these minis I'm putting together right now are good We got eight more to go. All right, give in in big in me, please. Does mud paint what big you? In big in me, Brian, please. Okay. We are now zoomed. So. Nord, it looks to me like you swept to the coast. Or okay, no way. You're are you playing the scenario after they've already gotten to the coast and they're driving back towards Dunkirk, or did you make that drive to the coast and now your allies are starting to cut off the Germans? Because I'm seeing this ring here. So where did this scenario the scenario start? The Germans are the ring of fire, maybe. <laughs> Did okay, you call that's in? the start of the scenario. Okay, hold on. Big All right, there we go. Okay, so there's the start of the scenario. I got you. All right, so this I, I did. I the only one I've ever played is the where they started the Mers River in the old one, where they made the crossings and they're starting to their drive to the coast. So I get it. So now you've got to you've got to clean up all this crap. God, boy, I tell you what, it, it's amazing to me because. Just even just looking at this as a game, knowing this may not be perfect, all the allies are in that area, and the Germans were were able to just, you know, push all that shit back. Yeah, he does, Bama. Charles, I know how that goes, buddy. I' not usually a big pickle guy on a consistent basis, but. A I'm couple good, Fridays ago, I got tired of. I had to take my mind off of fish and grab pickles. Fish, quite delightful. That's just, yeah. that's just wrong. What? Fish to pickles? No, I would. I had. I was eating fish because it was Friday. It was Friday, and I got mm. like the fish tastes like stays in your mouth for. I don't know. Whatever, man. Um. So I got pickles because they're delicious, and I was at Schnooks, and yeah. It, well, it's a good palate cleanser. They are a fantastic palate cleanser. Plus, again, they, they're, they're <laughs> delightful to eat a whole eat a whole damn jar of the things, and it's like seventy five or whatever calories for a whole damn jar, and they're delicious. Right. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's the idea, Brian. Pickle beets. That sounds kind of gnarly, man. I used to eat pickled onions. <laughs> I and, pick, like and pickled and eggs, man. Like but that. pickled eggs, buddy, you will that that that'll give you a Jeffy problem. Yeah, it would do, bunch yeah, of pickled eggs. <laughs> Anyways, why are we? Why are we? I can't believe I did get us started talking about fucking pickled foods. That's you, McMurray. My brain is pickled. Yeah, I know. I know it was me. I don't feel proud about it. 
Apologize for Murray people. Yeah, that's very reasonable. Holy shit. Brian, you see that? Bama sits 10 points shy of 10,000 points of elves. Is that for Kings of War, Bama? That's wild. Holy crap. Charles says fish. Nope, never. Pretty much, Charles. There's four. Yeah, there's like a month a year where I eat fish once a week, Charles, and that's about it. Not a fan. I dig fish. I'm not a huge fan. I just I can't do it. Man. I don't know. Hey, what do you call a, what do you call a duck a duck on drugs? A duck on drugs. Yep. Brian. Quack, quack dealer. <laughs> oh, a quack dealer. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll be the first one to admit it. That's badass. I think I already told you this one. I know all the alphabets except Y. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know why uh, horses have such a low divorce rate? Why? They've got stable relationships. relationships. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I thought, days, I, thought they'd, I thought they'd have a high divorce rate because of all the nagging. <laughs> That's a good one too. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? Yeah, Joe. It's brought to you yeah. by McMurray's pickle. Jesus. Why you gotta go hide some eggs, Ashley? Gotta go hide some Easter oh, eggs. What? What's going on? They leaving? <laughs> Here they ask for a link to join, and the other saying they're sorry. I'll have a good night, and we will see you guys tomorrow. I ain't going to see me tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. Yeah, take care. Uh, night, night. Night, night. Night, night. Night, night. I have to work in the morning. Aww. Yeah, I gotta work in the morning too, guys. It's okay. You can hang out a while. I'm gonna go work on my golf game tomorrow. Again. Lame. <sighs> what is it? You know what? I don't have to put these little Called a quill or something, whatever it's called. Come on, what? enlighten me. What is the name of the bag that holds your arrows? Quiver. Quiver. A quiver. There you go. It sounds on the right track. Quiver. 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 I hardly know her. <laughs> Get up on this. Oh. oh, Mike Brown. What are you selling here, buddy? Enemy at the gates, time for trumpets, air court, Vietnam, dead of winter. Somebody just sold their dead of winter for 45 bucks, even though I had oh, dude. it. Dude, Andrew, Mike, I just got rid of like 350 DVDs. Took them all to Goodwill. You should have sent them to Todd. That dude hasn't seen anything. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had to give him a milk crate for the DVDs to go watch. He has movie nights with his family, does he, on Fridays? Yeah, but for whatever reason, they never watch anything good. <laughs> I don't think they've had movie nights in a while. Yes, yeah, sir, Chuck. What's up, buddy? Oh, now I lost track. Thanks a lot, Mirror. There, Nord. That makes it easier when you do that. Oh, wow. Already cutting that pocket down. Hey, McMurray. What's up? You made me lose track. Of what? There's a cord that's on these sprues here to keep track of what goes where on these. Little dudes. Perfect. And I just lost track. Perfect. That's good. Oh, 
Good. Just got my shipping notice for the new Gettysburg game by work. Chuck, you never did answer my question. You get your shipping notice for the Worthington Gettysburg game? Or maybe you didn't. I just didn't see it. <clears throat> Pretty cool action poses there for these archers. <laughs> oh, we're already over two hours. Yep. And it was quite enjoyable. Another G bird. Yeah, they're they're um Worthington's latest in that system. Unfortunately, Hexy will not be buying that one. Oh, Hexy heard. I don't believe it. Unless Todd buys it and sends it to me for free. Oof. I wish I was on a lease program. You were on a lease program, weren't you? That's all right. Hey, guys, I'll tell you what, dude. This, this upcoming week, man, it's going to be different. Oh, you got this. <laughs> Be different, dude. So. Brian has to do all his own laundry this week, guys, and he's really, really terrified of it. So I actually do my laundry. laundry. My, wife never does, my wife has never done my laundry. Yeah, can you blame her? Huh? Right. Can you blame her? I don't know. All right, guys. If you told me so to do your laundry, I'd tell you to get lost, Brian. One more thing. Bridge Too Far, great movie. It is a fantastic movie. Dude, I can't wait. For yeah, them. Ulan, I'm not, um, I've sold all but one of mine from Worthington Games. Chuck Rogers, what's up? I missed most of this. I was painting bolt action and watching it. <laughs> Let me pay attention to this chat. Okay. Yeah. Dude, dude, Brian. What's up, buddy? So is there going to be another march to victory or not? Yeah. Yes. Where's Why would there be? Where's it going to be located? In another Same place. Hallway. Probably Game Cafe with two or three floors. That means you have to climb stairs? Um, Mike, um, is that the one that has the, the shields up? I have one Chancellorsville game. It's the Pinnacle of Victory. That's the only Chancellorsville game. Well, you know, brigade level game. But are you? T is the Worthington one the one that has the shield on both ends of the map? Because I did. I saw those shields, and I did not like that game at all. Just from looking at the shields. <clears throat> there you go, McMurray. I'm gonna blow you up. Worthington read you rules and then bailed, Jerry. What a bunch of clowns! Your your freaking system's better than that stuff. Is that Mediterranean, look. Chris? No, it's uh, North uh, North uh, Germany, 1943. Nice. It's uh, the uh, Yacht Group 26. Yellow. It's going to be Yellow Five. Nice. Uh, it's uh, the uh, Hyak JG 26. Yeah, uh, just found it. Sex yeah, and well, uh, spent most of their or actually all of their time, uh, either in France or protecting Germany. Nice. So they kind of have that kind of a gray, light gray green with a darker gray green uh splotched on top of it mm -hmm. like so your one pussy cat climbed up in the window yeah too complicated you know I, I, I believe that that's because that, we've had this discussion about the worthington civil war games and 
for me, uh, granted, this is not a knock. You know, those those games fit a whole lot of people will like those, but you got to know with me loving Great Battles, the American Civil War, that system. That, that, we were talking about this other night. That game is just, to me, was just pushing counters. There was no no strategy. To it. So I would I would rather have something with some where you got to think a little bit. Boys, I got to get up early to go make breakfast for the church. So you do that. I'm going to uh, cut out. You guys take care. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Have a good Easter, buddy. Have a good Easter, buddy. Later. If, uh, another shameless plug. If you aren't already over there, check us out Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central Time. Over at uh, Not Jay's uh, YouTube channel. Oh, geez, Chris, so. you gotta learn your own channel name. Yeah, Not Jay. Uh, I, I got. It. I remember the Not Jay part. It's fucking YouTube. I forget. Just come find me on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on YouTube under Not yeah. Jay. Come check it out. It's actually Not Jay's tabletop gaming. There you go. You just put in Not Jay. You're gonna find. Shit, that's not me. So correct. <laughs> Hi guys. So, yeah. yes. yes, nerd, nerd. That is uh, nerds, nerd. Excuse me. That that is correct. That is me. We'll start the channel. We'll start it. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you later. Love it. Love it. Got to move it. Move it. Got to move it. Move it. That should take you a few minutes to play Nord. Uh, I hope they finish this highway to the right here in the next I don't know, four or five days, I hope. Yeah, we don't even start the yawning. I know. It's only it's not quite midnight here. It shouldn't be it's not too bad. We don't play golf till eleven. We don't oh. change till to nine o'clock until about late spring. Yeah. We're supposed to have rain all day tomorrow. What? It doesn't rain in Arizona. You guys got a big storm coming your way from here. Oh boy. Ben and yes. when they say when it's when they say hey we're gonna get an inch of rain here, ooh, that's a lot of rain for us. I mean an inch is a fair amount of rain for anywhere. But yeah. It just doesn't well here it just doesn't, you know, so <laughs> just <laughs> runs off the clay. Yeah. That's why I was asking Charles if he, Charles, uh, yeah, he's still on. Are you guys have any rain yet right now, or what? We do right it, rains, it rains in San Diego. It rains over here. It's raining here right now. Thunder and rain just blew through here by Napa. Yeah, we had a thunder boomer. I heard that, Jerry, I heard it, uh, one out here about a couple hours ago. Big old boomer. Those. Come on now. Mm. Do -do -do -do. Yep. See, we're supposed to, this might be our last hurrah, and then uh, we should have our little mini drop as we normally do. So, uh, uh, yeah, can you quit running on that bullshit that this might be your last show just because you're white? You're white no, no, I'm talking about the rain. Oh. Yeah. I was about to say, you need to knock that nonsense off. Jesus. Who, me? Yeah. I never say it's my last show. I'm happy, I'm happy Jeffy said that. Yeah. Good gravy. Hey, at least I don't make those videos where, uh, what do you guys want to see? Uh, I ran out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, Brian tells the viewers what they want to see. I don't know. I guess people are liking the unprofessional unboxings. That's all right. I mean, I feel like people, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, professional unboxing. Yeah, I'm not going to put the quivers on. 
Why is that? Because they all have capes and the quivers go underneath the capes. I'm like, well, God, well, don't yeah, that would suck. That's fair. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, fair. Don't do that. Oh, man. We got sunny and beautiful high 70s in upstate South Carolina today. And tomorrow. South Carolina. So, last time I checked, it was raining over here as well. Mortgage. You've been down there, Gary, since that bridge came down? You've been down there to look at it? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Did they find any more people or not? So there were... Last I heard, it was three they hadn't found yet or something like that. Upst upstate South Carolina. My dad lives down there. Well, it is Myrtle Beach. Yeah. So. I used to go down there every year and in the March beginning of April for a week, play golf twice a day. Hmm. All right. Back when I had the energy to do that. Shoot, you know, I'm supposed to go back see the doctors and uh, they're gonna put me on whatever meds uh, because my A1C jumped up to 10, whatever. And so I'm sure it's dropped now because two weeks I went from uh, or two and a half weeks now, I went from 262 and I'm down to 240, 248, 248.5 to be exact. So, but um, it's gonna be like uh. Was it April 29th or 27th? Is the next time I'll be able to see my doctor? <laughs> oh. Oh. Now's when Todd needs to pop on. Yeah. yeah. But I can get lulled to sleep with uh, the dulcet tones of Wardrobe Plays World War II. <clears throat> Two weeks ago, last went under it in October. So you haven't been over to see it since it got knocked down? Oh, Mythos was there. Really? What do you do, Mythos, that you were up here working? Second survivor found apparently. Oh, apparently survived the fall. The crash avoided drowning. And swam herself to himself to shore. That's impressive. That bridge was a one and a half mile span. Good yeah, grief. Water, water was cold as shit, too. Yeah, that's even impressive. Sent to the hospital and he declined, saying after all that, he had places to be. My God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know what? He's like, I'm paying that $2,500 ambulance bill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, who puts bibs on their kittens? I've had enough. What? Some of these videos people post on Facebook. I'm about to say I've I've worn bibs before. Jeez. On a kitten? No, on me. I'm cooler than kittens because I poop outside the box and think inside the box. Your whole life is outside the box, Andrew. Exactly, buddy. Exactly. You got to think in the box and poop outside of it. That way, <laughs> you know, you never really have to leave your comfort zone. Oh, wow. That's right. Mythos oh. is the account manager. Nice. Yeah, Kitten McMurray the Pickler. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dang it. What? Why'd you start talking about pickles, man? Because they're delicious. Yeah. They are delicious. But that yeah. being said, <laughs> okay. it's certainly time for McMurray to go to sleep. I, I was going to say, wait, wait, wait one more minute and then we'll have it. That's fine. We can wait one more minute. Two hours and 30 minutes. Uh, make Murray the Pickler his prison name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right, I guess I could do this. 
<laughs> Anyways, hex a hex. Jeff, did you partake in the Noble Knight one cent sale? Any cool? Videos? I didn't. I did not. I looked, but there's way too many pages to look at. What did I miss? Is what I want to know. Nor that is a bit of trivia that I've heard before, and I don't know, buddy. I'm sorry to tell you. Um, and it's officially six. Seven, Holler at us, Nord. Let me know because now it has it's to be in New York. It has to be in New York, right, man? Two hours, thirty minutes. I would imagine so. I feel like I've seen it or heard about it in a like a Matt Atkinson lecture or something like that. Hexy should know. I agree with you. Jerry, right. I'm going to sell all my Avalon Hill GCACW. Oh, the oh, 69th yeah. Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, 69th. Yeah, okay. The fight in 69th. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. They made a song about him. Damn it. Come on, Jeff. You said a New York regiment. It's not, I figured it had to be a New York regiment. Jeez. All right, lightning round here. Any more questions, guys? Go for it. Murray's going to fall do, asleep. Where do babies come from, Brian? Who does your hair? Um, my daughter will cut my hair. Your daughter cut your, your older daughter or your younger daughter? Older daughter. Because that's what she does for a living. For a living? Yeah. That must be depressing cutting your hair then. Why? It's, I'm it's, just it's giving you beautiful. trouble. It's not as bad as cutting Jeff and my hair. No, mine is beautiful. She could probably cut Jeff and my hair for half price of yours. <laughs> anyway, I got five military history books for one cent each. That's World pretty awesome. Games. When I was a baby. I came from Rhode Island. Everybody's jealous of Brian's hair. Was the Union uh, line on Cemetery Ridge ever broken at any point during the battle? I mean, do you count getting to the high water mark breaking it? No, it wasn't broken. No, no physically broke the line. I mean, they were broken. Just any time. Your physicians, does that at count as breaking or do you mean like the battle? Was the line ever broken? Yeah, so define broken. Broken, busted through. No. no. Yes, it was. There you go, it Jeffy. Was. Who did it? Anderson's boys on the second. And they got no support. Where at? Just above between Little Round Top and the actual Cemetery Hill and the gap there. Oh, that's a lie. No, sir. They never made it through. And you're gonna see boys. you're gonna see an article written about it here in uh, a magazine here soon. Hey, they, never said yes, said they never got past Dan the man. The, he wasn't. He was over. He was out of Devil's Den I in know. the Peach Orchard. I know. No, actually, he was already shipped off the battlefield. Yeah, I'm about to say. Here's my. Uh, the reason you didn't hear about it is because Sickles was already off the battlefield. Because <laughs> Longstreet wasn't able to smash into Cemetery Ridge at 3 p.m. He ran into. The, the, the greatest core on the field. Okay, McMurray, you're falling asleep. That's third core, by the way. You're welcome, Brian. <laughs> Under Dan the Man. And is that it? Guys, I want to thank you for uh, hanging out with us. And uh, XE and McMurray and Chris is here. Not Jay. Shameless plug. <laughs> and Todd, we missed you. Yeah. And uh, y'all take care. I hope you guys have a good Easter tomorrow and play your games and all that stuff. Hope I shoot a 68 tomorrow. And yeah, wish you a good luck on his golf game. <laughs> and you guys all take care. So we'll see, see you on the next whenever live feed I do. Bye. So, Bye, guys. See you, Paul. Hold on, hold on. Start waving now. Bye.